My name is Svenja Brisson and I'm the co-founder and chair of the European Etic Alliance. I traveled the globe multiple times to have a look at best practices in education innovation in order to see how we can learn in a better, more efficient way. The changes that will define the next five to 10 years of education, in my opinion, is the move towards more personalized learning and more equity in education. I strongly believe that, you know, adaptive learning technologies, for example, can help us personalize learning paths. What we're going to be able to do with adaptive learning and AI is quite promising. Um, and I strongly believe that it will help teachers uh, focus on what matters. And because teachers cannot, you know, prepare 30 different courses for 30 very different students with adaptive learning, they can really personalize each learner's learning path when they choose it. The challenges are plenty. <laughs> I think there are so many challenges. More than 90% of chief academic officers in the U.S. think that their institutions are doing a great job at training students for the world of work. On the other side, you have a bit more than 10% of employers that believe that the graduates that they get and that they hire um, are fit for the world of work and ready to work. There is a complete mismatch of skills between what we learn and what we need after we, we learn that. Every one of us is gonna, at some point, need to learn a new job, unlearn, relearn, and that's a skill. Learning how to learn is a skill that should you know, be taught in schools um, because it's a necessary skill to stay employable. So it's super important that in school, in universities, we are already prepared for that, prepared to unlearn what we've learned and to also, you know, change our mindset in regards to this. We're not just learning for 18 years, we're learning through our lives. I think, you know, the classroom of the future is open, is open, is adaptive. Um, we will be able to set up the space differently depending on each pedagogical activity that we're going to do. And we should try to think of learning and education outside four walls uh, and try to really embrace um, the, uh, the space around the school, the, the city um, or the nature as a learning playground. Thanks for watching. I'm Svenja Brusson and this has been Teaching for Tomorrow.